Thanks to the Home Depot Seed Program, we have 6-inch Rock Creek house number. This is 0, I have a 1, and I have a 7. What you get inside the kit is 2 mollies, 2 screws with a point at each end, at one end, and 2 sleeves. And then each of the numbers has a hole drilled into it. No instructions. So apparently you take the flat end of this and you screw it in here. Then you drop in a sleeve over that. And then you drill a hole into your wall, punch this molly into that hole. And then I guess you just force this on to the molly because you can't screw it on at that point. So I, I guess we're going to need, in addition to a level and a marking tool, a rubber mallet. Let's head outside, see if we can install it. First thing we need to do is find a spot where we want this. We've decided it's going to be on this panel. It's above our doorbell, so it kind of makes sense. We have three numbers to deal with. So what I'm going to do is just kind of look to see where they kind of look right as far as the vertical placement and then as far as the horizontal placement goes I'm just going to center between either end so now that I like this position I put a little X way up here then I put a level up against that X so I could draw a straight line with a pencil and now I know where each of the numbers is going to get placed. Now we have to drill some holes. In order to know where we're going to have to drill, first thing we have to do is take the screws that are supplied with the kit. One end is pointed, the other one's flat. And we're going to screw in that flat end. And the idea is you're going to need it to go as far in as possible. Now this top one has only gone in like two, tur two turns. Whereas the bottom one went all the way until it's seated. So I'm going to have to um, maybe get a pair of pliers and see if I can turn this. Because it's okay if I strip this in because we're just going to force that into the molly. So I just wanted to show you what I did. Got a pair of pliers. I grabbed the end and then I just turned that screw until it stops traveling into the number then you know it's fully seated. And again, don't worry about damaging the threads down here because you're going to push that into the molly. Make sure you do it also for the screw on the bottom. This one actually fully seated. So now, we're going to come up here and where I have my X, I'm going to put my first screw there and then I'm going to come down along that line, put the second screw of this number, and then I'm going to use the mallet to tap so I know exactly where I need to drill this hole for the molly. I'm using 3 16 bit because obviously I don't want to make too big of a hole, so I'm going to try to come in just slightly under and hopefully I can push that into this material. So here we go. Well, choosing a mallet to pound in a molly or anchor probably wasn't the smartest choice. The issue was really with these little anchors that were just too soft and pliable. And even if I enlarged the holes, it still was just a problem. It's bending. It tells me that it's too small of a hole. Slightly bigger bit. And a really bad shock. By the way, if the bit's slipping, Get like a Ryobi, which has the shank on it, and that way you can bypass the bad clutch. All right, let's try this hole one more time. Anyway, I decided not to edit all this out because I just wanted to show you that sometimes things don't go as we plan.
but if they end up getting new mollies at the rate we're going. So we're having problems with this molly and I found this one in my pile of mollies in the garage and coming up here we look I was able to successfully get that one in so now we're going to come down here and see if we can do the same to the bottom hopefully I don't have to replace because I don't think I have six of these total but you see the mollies in place all we have to do is take the number don't forget to put the sleeve over each of the screws and now we're going to push that screw point into here a little persuasion And looking at the number head-on, we see it looks pretty straight. So now we're going to proceed with adding the zero. We're finally down to the number seven. Got my screws in, and yes, I had to use the pliers to make sure those attach. So once again, you're just going to align the points of the screw with your, your center line. Top, bottom make sure you like the spacing and if your boss gives you the approval and she does then I'm going to use a rubber mallet and just tap above the screw so they put some mark and I know exactly where I need to drill we're using a 3 16 bit and it's still not big enough for the molly So I worked the area a little bit. Do the same thing down here. Oh, and by the way, if there was like a light up here, you wouldn't want to be drilling because you'd probably hit the power line. So in our case, we only have a doorbell and it's just a little wire that goes up. So I'm not too afraid of ruining that or getting shocked by it. I've discovered that the mollies that come with this are a little bit too soft. So fortunately I had these and, and, uh, and I can't tell you what brand or who makes them anything. I think they were from uh, curtains that were left over. Anyway, these are stiffer and go in much better so I basically have not used any of the mollies that have come with the kit. Put in our molly and tap it until it's flush. Grab your second replacement molly. You want to keep it going straight. If you see that it starts to deform, like this one is, then you may want to pull it out and enlarge the hole a little bit. And try not to crush it when you're pulling it out. Don't forget to erase your lines. Otherwise the boss will get really upset with you and you don't want that. Line up the screws. Oops, don't forget. What goes there? These sleeves. Slide on the sleeves. Now line it up with your mollies. Push it in. Maybe use the rubber mallet to persuade it. Except it's weird because you want to hit here on the end, but that's the wrong place. You only want to hit where And I drive it all the way to the wood, maybe just a little beyond. And now I know where to find my house. Because it's 107. What did I do before this?
in the end, what are the pros and cons? Well, you get nice finish on the outside, maybe not so great on the back side. These letters are offset from the background, so you can see that there. Um, I, I do like the finish, it's very smooth and very nice. Good clean edges. Back side's a little rough, but no one's gonna see the back side. I wish it would have came with instructions. I'm not too thrilled about the zero. I think font-wise, it just looks a little too wide for me. But should you buy this? Well, if you can get beyond not getting any instructions to assemble it, I think overall it adds a nice look. I do like the fact that, again, they're offset. For not a lot of money, you can get a nice distinctive look in front of your house. So for me, it's a buy. If you found this interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. Please, please subscribe. That's the way you support us and keep the commercials out of the middle of these videos. Thank you so much for watching.